I look back when, when, when my mother was dying, for example, she said, when you lift the chalice, she said, remember me, when you lift the chalice. Every day when I say Mass, and I lift the chalice, I think of my mother and father giving me life. That's the way I remember them, especially where, no matter where I'm in, even if I was in the Vatican with the Pope, I would, the chalice goes up, I can see in my mind their, their faces in front of me, my father and my mother. One, six months before, one year before, before I met my wife, I realized that even though I have worked really hard in growing up professionally, I have a lot of stuff here. I didn't understand how to make it here. I had to express it. The actual act of being a Christian, a, a, a very, a very active, 24/7 Christian, I realized that it's, it's, it's gonna, it was going to require more. And I want Maria to feel that, not spontaneously, in every day in his life. I look back at my own life. I remember, as a, as a child. My, my dad was not a Catholic. He later became a Catholic. But at the time, I was a very little, my mother was a Catholic. I remember she would take us to church on Sunday and she would say to us, I'd be real quiet, and mother would be back in a minute, and she'd go up to communion rail. When she'd come back, I remember I was always the one next to her, the little one, and she'd always be folding her hands and she'd be quiet now, I'm talking to Jesus. I always remember that in my life. And then when I was 10, I became very, very ill as a child. And I spent many, many months in bed, even forgot how to walk. It was such a long time. But the thing that kept me going, I look back now, even more so, was my parents are always there for me. My, my dad would hold me up and, and trying to teach me how to walk again. I remember Thanksgiving with my grandparents, and uh, they gave away the turkey. And my grandfather said, well, why did you do this? And my grandmother said, because of the poor woman at the door with little children. We have a ham. We can use the ham in place of the turkey. As Mother Teresa said, your hands, when you feed the poor, the hands of Christ. When uh, you speak with words of love, you echo his heart. She really believed that you have the extension of God's uh, presence on earth. He said it, I will live in you. She took it seriously. And so I look back now as a much older person and I see it in my, in my family, how they taught me faith. Uh, because sometimes I meet young people today and their families don't go to church. But you go to Mass, so you, should, you should be going to Mass, you know, you're a Catholic school. But they don't go to Mass. And that affects the child. But when the child sees their mother and father living the faith in their own way, the kindness and the love and the Eucharist in their life, the meaning of relationship to Jesus, it changes your life. It's not just fatherhood. The, the, the physical, it's fatherhood spiritually too, that you are teaching your child the values of Christ in your life by their own example. And so uh, you, in your, your as a grandfather, you as a dad, uh, your children, your grandchild, they are, they are modeled by you. You are, you are what it's all about. The way you speak, the way you laugh, the way you pick them up, and uh, the way you rejoice, and the way you pray, that tells them the value of life itself. They don't learn Christ out of a book. They learn Christ by human example.